All right, guys. Uh, I want to do this quick because I've noticed a couple of things. I'm a Craftman fan. I have always been. My dad was. I was. My grandfather is. I am. I'm just a diehard Craftman fan. Um, hardware. Oh, sorry. Um, hand tools, power tools, all across the board. But I started noticing that Ryobi's not that bad either. I have the full kit of Craftman, including this is the compact, the full size, the hammer drill, the reciprocating saw, the jigsaw. I have the whole kit of this, except for the socket wrench one, which I find pretty useless. But I have the whole kit and I love it. I love the fact that it's 19.2 volts across the board. And if you notice, look right over there, I have two chargers, one of the saws and the battery. So I have lots of these. Love it. My wife was complaining that I always, every time I'm not home, it's not here because it goes with me. Which I just, it sucks for her because she wants to do something and I'm not home and she can't do anything. So I was stuck in Home Depot because of the due to rain, buying some stuff for the house because I was doing stuff. And I was like, you know what, let me buy her her own power drill. So I bought her that single power drill. It comes with two batteries. And guys, let me tell you, after doing research, I found out both Craftsman and Ryobi come from the same factory. So a lot of things are very similar. They both have that front light in the front. Um, some models have that little test tool where it tells you the amount of power it has. Same with the, with the Craftsman, I believe. This one came with the kit. The one that doesn't come with the kit has a little test light where it just glows a certain color and here it has like a little light that tells you what it is or on the battery i'm sorry and i believe that it, it's the same company it's the same factory that makes both of these i believe both motors are identical or almost identical um but it's almost the same thing i like the fact that these both have that locking mechanism for, that i can actually turn this without actually turning the chuck only the, the outside of the chuck spins and then i can actually lock it without doing the turn on and hold the tip in to lock it into place. I do love that. They both have that. Um, these are both the compact, because I like the compact because they're lighter, and honestly, they're just compact. They're a little bit less torque than the full size, but they're pretty good. Uh, the only thing, actually, I don't like about the Crafton one is that there's no little hook in the back to hold it, versus this one has a little hook in the back to hold it, a little tie rack. I usually use paracord and then lug nut, and then I kind of... Uh, Use a crimp, uh, crimping tool, and I crimp a little piece of metal to the side, a little crimping metal to the side of them, and I have it with a uh, with uh, paracord that holds pretty well. <clears throat> but these are both great. They both have the high and low power. Um, my wife actually used this today to install a ring, which is that uh, automated uh, doorbell, which is a video doorbell, which is so far pretty cool. She wanted to do it herself, so I let her do it. I helped draw a little bit, but she did most of the work. Um, but yeah, this is the, this, this, it's not a bad tool, guys. I don't like people knocking people down. Oh, you got Ryobi. It's cheap. It's not cheap. It's, it's, it's lower end price, but actually it compares pretty well to the Craftman. I don't have any complaints so far. I've only had this for like four days and I've used it a handful of times. Today I've used it three times because we have projects around the house and then my wife used it once and no complaints, guys. No complaints. If I find anything, I'll put it up, but no complaints. All right, good.